Hello and welcome to this video tutorial what to buy VRM1 that for that TC. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look of how this was done in Photoshop. And uh, I've been doing another video tutorial of how you can create this nice looking image. As you can see, this whole thing was uh, created in Photoshop. No, I'm not really creating Photoshop. Uh, there's some uh, images from uh, Google that I've used in here in this video. So yeah, now let's go ahead and get started of how this was done, cause we got no time to talk and explain everything. We only have 15 minutes for the whole tutorial. Alright, and this is how you can create your own image. You can use this for creating an image. For example, you have, you have to take a picture of a beautiful place in the city. And you don't have the time to do that. Or the time to go all the way to the place that you know that it's beautiful. It's nice, nice looking. And just think of this tutorial. And you can, start, you can go ahead and watch it or you're watching it now and start creating your image use some skills that you've seen here and go ahead and create your own image and uh, yeah and you have your image after you follow some of these steps and the next tutorial step actually I think everybody is, is looking for the next tutorial of how everything was done right here I'm just gonna explain and just show how it's done because we don't have that that much time to go ahead and, and explain how things are done and start creating from the beginning stuff like that all right let's take a look at the moon which is pinkish <laughs> or purple looking moon which uh, I think it looks good on it and uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm just going to show you the layers and I'm going to show you things that are in inside the moon and uh, things that are making it look good and like a, making it look like a, like a moon and stuff like that anyways let's get started I'm going to open the moon photo up here so as you can see I created two photos and this on the top one we have a moon photo and the sky photo so the moon photo is for this one and there's some layers that uh, are for the sky or clouds and other cities and stuff like that and yeah let's go ahead and get started so the moon is all, way, all the way down over here this is the moon as you can see when I take it off it goes off I'm going to alt click on the eye so I can see the moon itself as you can see the moon is over here on the transparency I know you can't see it right now because it, it's kind of well uh, overlaid in. But if I add a texture in, you can start seeing to see it uh, as a pinkish coming out. As you can see, it's coming out of here with a shape. And this was created using the shape tool, which is uh, was you uh, was used a uh, left tool to create this moon. So I'm going to show you how you can do that in the next tutorial. And what I added is I added some uh, brushes, some brush in, uh, in Photoshop. I just went on the brush and did some settings. I got some uh, dots and I just put it in inside the moon. And uh, the other thing I added on the moon was uh, these little stars inside the little dots I know you can't see it enough but uh, let me try to zoom in no actually you can't so transparency and I'm going to make a background new let me take it all the way down I'm gonna make a background I'm gonna make a background for this and I'm gonna switch colors control delete and uh, yeah, I think black looks good. Or maybe let's see, white. I don't know. Uh, okay. We should fill it with white. Uh, I think so. Oh, actually, black is good. 
Black is good. Let's keep it with black. Okay, yeah, as you can see, we get the moon over here. And I'm just gonna go over everything I just uh, sh uh, showed. Because I'm sure you couldn't see it before. Now, as you can see, this is a shape. Added, uh, I added an, an in shadow. I added a bevel, work, a bevel and emboss. That's what I added on. That's a uh, filter. And uh, I added some uh, flactor noise. And uh, flactor noise, I changed the color to purple. And uh, I added some uh, uh, some little stars that you can't even see here. They're hidden, but uh, you don't even need for that because you can't even see them. And I added these dots using a brush tool. I clicked on the brush and I did some settings using the button up here, which we uh, will take a look at next tutorial. And uh, I uh, this light was added after everything was done. And uh, yeah, I added this chalk using the pen tool, which is uh, going around the moon. And uh, yeah, uh, the other part you can see over here, which it looks good on uh, on the stars. And uh, yeah, as I said, we can take a look of how to do that too next tutorial. And I added some filters, inner shadow, other girl, inner inner girl, a gradient overlay. I'm just gonna rename this stroke. Okay, and uh, what I added next was uh, I duplicated the stroke and it made it, it made it more lighter, so you can I can see it or you can see it right here. And I added another glow. I made a new layer and then I added glow. And uh, I, this actually was uh, another brush that I used, and uh, they were little, uh, you know, little brushes and were like separate. They were apart, separated apart, and there were many of them. And I added uh, some filters, drop shadow, inner shadow, other girl, inner girl. That's what I added on. And uh, this was uh, the result that I could get. And uh, as I said, we can take a look how to do that too. And uh, I have I've been on seven minutes. Okay, and uh, what else? I added uh, a copy of it so it'd be more lighter and a tit for the moon and uh, next what I did was uh, I created a sky I started to, uh, to make the sky I used some images from Google as you can see when I click here when I click here I'll get everything on so as you can see all of them I shut it off because I shut off the moon one and they all came off by alt clicking where I wanted to see Okay, so we can go all the way back. This is the image. Wait. So now let's go ahead and take a look of how we created a sky. How we put on the sky using some images uh, from Google. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, let me see. I've been on for eight minutes, so I'm trying to see if I. I'm trying to not pass 15 minutes. Okay, now we go ahead and all the way down. So uh, this is the image that I use. First, I'm going to shut off this black background so I can see my other layers. So I added this sky, as you can see it. It's a sky of uh, little stars in, uh, in the space. And I got this from Google. You can go ahead and search it and this is what I added on then after I added the clouds as you can see this is the original clouds I took a pen tool and went over up here and just uh, went over and I made some selection and I added and copied as I said next tutorial I'll show you how I do it and I just removed it some parts and and this is what I got this is what I got uh, and uh, I and I had this image which is a full image and I separated it into two parts which is a 
I, this is a black one. I, I separate two parts by taking the top. Oh wait. Taking the bottom and just uh, using a pen tool. I'll show you how I'll show it next time. And I separated the, the water and the refraction uh, refraction of uh, the buildings. And uh, and yeah, and uh, that's myself up there. And I uh, that's what I did. That's what I added on. Uh, actually, that's what I added on. And also, I went on and add. Then I created these these uh, these things that uh, you can see of here. For as you can see, this bridge of here that you can stand on. And that's what I created using the shapes shape tools which I used it I used rectangular shape to create this whole thing and um, yeah that's what I did and also I added this uh, black background black there so you I can't see you can see these edges these transparency edges of here as you can see them right here when I add this layer on you can see all of them go away and uh, you can see it looks better than before and uh, I'm bad at this I should be starting I should name these layers so they don't get confused I'm like trying to find which one to click on they're all the same layer 1, layer 2, layer 10 all confused then I added this white background which made the stars come to life as you can see the transparency was uh, was on and you can you couldn't see it so good and uh, after I did that I added a white background and I was like oh that's better <laughs> it looks better than before and I was like okay then I went on and uh, played with it until I came with a uh, final result with, which was this one and uh, yeah that's what I did that's what I added and also I went on and added this uh, black uh, background to just uh, make the stars a little darker so it can make it look it was at night and I just had to add it on but I like it this way better I don't know <laughs> which which where whichever way you like it doesn't matter to me as long as you like it and so I added my cell phone I put my cell phone there with uh, this little texture that I got from Google and the uh, template, uh, this texture I got from Google. You can go ahead and search for beautiful textures on Google. Many of them are there. And it created this nice effect, which right now I'm kind of not liking it. And uh, what I did, I add lights on the, using the filter up here. I added lights and I added strokes so that it seemed like I was you know giving some energies to the moon so it can go through and I can you know start my day start my day making tutorials alright and that's it that's all we going to do and that's all it, it took for me to create this whole thing as I said next tutorial we'll be exploring these things how they were made so be sure to check it out it's coming soon and uh, go ahead and check out on the site for more information for updates and stuff like that and as i said i'll see you on the next tutorial please subscribe comment